Hello, thank you for joining us. Today we're going to take a look at stage one in setting up a boundary scan test project in JTAG Live Buzz, the free boundary scan utility you can download from www.jtaglive.com. For any JTAG boundary scan test or programming application, your first step is to check out the boundary scan infrastructure known as the test access port or JTAG chain on your target design. On the screen, you'll see that we've started JTAG Live and have simply added a name to the basic project. If I click Next, it takes me to the Scan Chain Builder window, where I can assign names to the test access ports and also assign devices to the chains themselves. Use the default menu name Tap1 as the first chain into the list window. We can then add the actual device instance names and the associated BSDL models for each boundary scan part. The first part in this design we'll call D200 and the first device type will be a National Semiconductor 18245. The second device, D201, is also of the same type and there you can see we've very quickly completed one test access port. The second test access port in this design features device called D500 which is device type Lattice 2064. And finally our last device for this design, D600, another Lattice. Now we have completed our two test access ports in the Chain Builder window. Click Next to see a summary of the information and finish to start an actual JTAG Live task, in this case a buzz task with the default name task1 and there you can see the summary of information we've collected so far. From here we can click the test infrastructure window but first we will select the correct instrument to execute the test. The list here shows that JTAG Live supports the JTAG Live USB controller, a single port uh, device, a two port JT3705, the four port data blaster and cables from Altera and Xilinx. Simply clicking run infrastructure here will run the test, extracting data from the devices on the chain or chains and comparing that against data within the boundary scan models. Green for go means we've passed that initial test and we have correctly extracted instruction register data, identity code data and where not available the bypass register bits. Thank you. That's it. We've already tested the boundary scan infrastructure of our design successfully. Next we'll look at more exacting testing using uh, the main buzz window. Thank you for joining us.